Next, we will have our keynote speaker, Dr. David A. Rosen. Y'all can hear me, we'll walk out like this. Um, 
yeah, I was telling my mother, I said, I'm not gonna use the colloquial term that I said to her, it's kind of like not cool. But I said, hey mom, when I grow up, I wanna be a seven figure brother. You know what that is? Right, right, thank you. And she was like, oh, you know, you know, my mother's a Christian lady, so she's like, oh, you need, you need to be humble. You don't need to make all that money. I can't go to church in a Lamborghini, right? You know what I'm saying? And I said, well, you gotta go to church in a Lamborghini. I don't want you, I'm gonna have a home. You don't have to have one, but you're gonna go to church in a nice Cadillac, because that's what I wanna be, right? Now, I will tell you, my high school career was not reflective <laughs> of a seven-figure brother, right? Now, y'all are currently in high school, so y'all know about grade point averages and things of that such. You know, I graduated high school with a 1.8. <laughs> <laughs> You had enough acumen to join an association like FBLA, so you guys are on point. I wasn't this individual. You know, I admire you now to this day. Even though I've made it and my dreams are accomplished, I still wish I would have had this level of, you know, astuteness at this age. So I want to give yourselves a round of applause for being this <laughs> Never work for someone in my life, right? Because you got a tattoo, you're not good at the job. 
tattoos on your face. Don't be soldier boy and go get tattoos on your face. You're not going to get a job. That's not what the future business leaders of America do. Unless you're going to run a tattoo shop. Then, you know, by all means, get tattooed up. Right? So I really got this tattoo on my hand because, you know, when you're in the army, right, you know, in the military, you know, soldiers, you know, to make the commitment to the government, they salute, right? As a sign of commitment and respect. So I put this tattoo on my hand because I wanted to show myself as a sign of commitment and respect that I was committed to his vision. Global was going to be my commitment, and I was never going to work for nobody. I worked in corporate America for like six years, and then I started my own company, and we've been around for, what, nine years now? You can clap for this one. <laughs> I want you to 
understand that FBLA has given you the opportunity to be in the room of the next future business leaders. You're in the room with the next Mark Zuckerberg. You're in the room with the next Barack Obama, the next Hillary Clinton, the next Dr. Who. Right? I'm kind of old. Dr. Who was a big deal when I was in here. He like doing all the science and stuff like that, right? Anybody remember Dr. Who? Somebody up there. Somebody. Okay, I'm not too old. All right, right? Everybody just pause for a second. Do y'all understand the impact of what I'm saying right now? What I'm saying right now is y'all are with the next future business leaders. Somebody sitting next to you is going to make a million dollar deal and you're going to know them. You have the opportunity to help them. FBLA is giving you a venue to target people who are of like-mindedness. Everyone in this room said, hey, we want to make a difference in our life. We want to be somebody. So we want to make sure that we do the appropriate preparation so when we get to that time in life, we're ready for it, right? Do not underestimate the relationships that you make here. Do not come here as a routine thing. I mean, me and my, 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 my sidekick, Matthew, were talking. Matthew, right? Matthew, there, stand up, Matt, stand up. This is my executive assistant, Matthew, right here. He works for Global Wellness now. Um, we were talking, you know, and sometimes we was like, hey, it's a great, it's a great opportunity. And I was like, exactly, it's a great opportunity. Do not let these relationships slip because they are important. This is going to be... The future, this is the future. We are in the future. The future is now, right? And all these people in this room are going to be the people who are running America. So make sure you make the contact. Make sure you exchange emails. Make sure you do the Facebook connections. Become Instagram friends. Share a card. Obviously, some people got cards. Share your cards with one another because high school is going to go very quickly, right? When you're younger, time goes a little longer. You feel like you're in school forever. When you start getting older, time speeds up. So as soon as you graduate, time starts to fly. And in five years, everyone will be 20, right? And people are already, Mark Zuckerberg, Mark Zuckerberg created Facebook, how old was it? Like 19. So the answer somebody still has a number. Yeah, you're right, 25, right? So if that's when he created Facebook, that meant he was already doing this for like 19, 18. You guys are around the same age. Your genius is now, okay? I make this point. See, so y'all can sit down. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> this is, this is what I, want, I want y'all to make the connection of membership. Being a member of this organization is just that profound. This is what this, this opportunity is allowing you to do. So I want you to get the pro. Everybody have a program? Put the programs out, and there's a thing on there called a creed. I want you to look at it. Excuse me. I want you to look at this creed. There's a creed on there. Right? You'll see a creed in this program. Now, you, you don't have to stare at it, but just kind of glance at it while I'm talking, because the next couple of things I'm going to say are going to come from this creed. What, what is a creed? A creed is, is a saying, a belief of what you believe in. Correct? Is that right, Greg? Yes. This is what we believe in. Now, Today, we're going to go through a process of all committing to this creed together. That's what we're going to talk about today, and I'm going to tell you why it's important. Because if you want to put your excellence in action, these are the tenets that are going to allow you to put these, this excellence in action. These are the same tenets that I utilize to, become, to do what I do. You know, I started, what did I tell you, 1.8 in high school. To now we're in my own business, we had a quarter million dollars last year. I flew all around the country, France, Dubai, you know, um, Brazil, um, Oklahoma. We spoke all over the world, you know, little dudes in special ed making his dreams come true. So it can't happen if you believe in these tenets. Where's my international clipper, right? The, 